Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and in today's video, I'm excited to unbox an Anoto Holland & Holland Royal Scroll Pen uh, that was sent to me as a gift by a good friend. In today's video, I have the extreme pleasure of unboxing an absolutely incredible gift that was sent to me uh, by a good friend. Uh, now, it's no surprise he told me what it is that he was sending, uh, but this is the first time for me to open this up and see it. Uh, this is an incredible writing instrument uh, from Anoto, which is a British a pen manufacturer. This was a collaboration with Holland & Holland to produce a, a pen uh, that echoes the brand's quality, uh, craftsmanship, and tradition. Edition. Uh, so I'm excited to open this up and show it to you for the first time. Uh, so this shipped directly from the Holland & Holland Boutique on the corner of St. James's Street and German Street, uh, located just catty corner uh, from my favorite place on earth, uh, Davidoff of London, and right next to Franco's, uh, the famous uh, bistro, Italian bistro right there on St. James's, uh, that is a favorite amongst those that enjoy a nice cigar. Uh, this is... Um, Comes with a nice little uh, note again. This is uh, showing that it shipped from uh, 36 St. James's Street in London, the third floor. We haven't visited Holland & Holland, uh, but it would be an incredible honor to one day get a tour of their gun room similar to uh, what we did with Purdy. So this comes, let's see, in a nice box. Wow, look at this. This is exceptional. Um, comes with a polishing cloth. Uh, let's put this back. Beautiful box. And let's see, so Holland and Holland, it has a nice kind of engraved plate uh, on the top of the box. It's a beautiful uh, lacquered box. Uh, it is a, a British racing green, a real deep green that in low light uh, is so dark green it would uh, appear to be black. And we open this up, we see that uh, this is the Royal Scroll Pin limited edition. Uh, this shows, uh, let's see, uh, 20th January 2023, uh, number 13 uh, in the series, uh, and it was signed by James uh, Body of the Anoto uh, Pin Company, LTD. So pretty exciting, beautiful uh, green ink, I guess, to match the box. Uh, let's put that back in. Uh, and here's the pen, so let's take a look at this. This is exciting. Uh, as uh, all of you know, I have a growing collection of uh, vintage fountain pens, uh, and it's always a pleasure to add a few uh, new pieces to the collection. I have the uh, Sailor King of Pens, which is an incredible Japanese desk pen, uh, and I'm really excited uh, to add this pen to the collection. Wow, look at this. The Royal Scroll was uh, developed uh, in collaboration between Holland and & Holland and Anoto to really represent uh, Holland & Holland's quality craftsmanship and tradition, their heritage. And it's called the Royal Scroll uh, because this engraving pattern right here, which is hand engraved, uh, is uh, meant to echo or represent the royal scrolling that you see uh, in the royal collection of guns. Uh, absolutely beautiful. The pin barrel is engraved with the checkered pattern that is, again, meant to uh, echo uh, this same pattern that you find uh, on the stock of one of Holland & Holland's uh, famous guns. We see right here a silver uh, cap with the Holland & Holland logo engraved on it. Right here we have Anoto, the pen made in England. So this uh, really is representing a British craftsmanship. Uh, and then uh, on the base of the pen, we see right here a gold plate engraved with uh, the number that this is in the series, which is 13, a great number. Now let's unscrew this and take a look at it. Wow. So look at that beautiful uh, nib right here. Uh, absolutely gorgeous pen. And this is a 7M, nice fine point. Let's open this up and look at this. Uh, wow, look at this. So this has, uh, of course, a plunger refill uh, that has a very large capacity. So I think in a moment, what we'll do is I'll go grab some ink uh, and we'll actually fill this uh, thing up 
and see how it writes. Wow, what a privilege. I mean, what a great gift, an incredibly generous gift uh, from this good friend of mine. Uh, uh, he had helped us uh, in production or editing of all of our videos. Uh, it is uh, his studio, actually, uh, that we partnered with uh, to do all of the work. And uh, I'd say that uh, he is, uh, in many ways, solely responsible for the massive bump in quality uh, that you've seen on this channel. And we collaborated extensively uh, on the Suit to Shoot series. Uh, and so uh, he thought this would be kind of a fitting gift really memorializing all the work that went into that incredible series. Absolutely beautiful pen. So let's look what's inside. Uh, I was reading that the pen actually came with some other accessories. So here is, I guess, a uh, little card with eternal pride. We entrust this Anoto pen to your custodianship. Custodianship lasts a lifetime and that's why we offer a lifetime guarantee on all of our pens. Activate your guarantee within 30 days, right? So I guess I've got to jump to that website. Uh, we've got a few other details in here. Let's see. Onoto 925. Let's see what this is. So uh, this is just talking about the different hallmarks on the pen. So we've got the OPC, which is the maker's mark. We've got this sterling mark. The Lion Passant has been used as the symbol for sterling silver since 1554. Don't you love uh, the British? Uh, the 925 finesse mark shows how many parts per thousand of pure silver the metal contains. The assay mark, the leopard's head, has been recognized uh, assay mark for London since 1544, so showing that this was made in London. And then J, the date letter, this represents the year in which the piece was assayed using different fonts rotated over uh, 25 years. So, wow, fascinating. Um, this is, let's see, a little care guide uh, for the pen. Uh, great. And then another interesting characteristic of this pen uh, is that it comes with a conversion kit uh, to actually convert this uh, from a fountain pen uh, to a ballpoint. So you can see that this comes with a different uh, head right here that can be screwed into the base of this and then two black and two blue uh, ballpoint uh, uh, refills. So uh, there we go. I don't think I'll be using that because I love a good fountain pen. Uh, and so let's, I guess, do the honors of inking this baby up uh, and uh, writing with it. So allow me uh, one moment uh, while I go grab some ink and paper and we will come back and see what this uh, beauty writes like. Okay, so here we are, we're back. I've gone to my uh, working desk, uh, which is where I keep all of my ink jars. Uh, and um, I have to say, one of the things I think makes writing with a fountain pen all the more special and enjoyable uh, is the access to incredible inks that you have. Uh, with the rollerball, uh, all you have access to are just standard blues and blacks, you know, maybe a few other colors. Uh, but whenever it comes to fountain pens, uh, the inkwell jars, uh, you have access to hundreds, if not thousands, of incredible inks. Uh, so part of the process uh, or ritual, if you will, of uh, inaugurating a great pen, I think really is selecting which ink you're going to pair with that pen. So uh, I went to uh, my collection. I've got a beautiful a Mont Blanc. This is a brown ink uh, that is meant uh, uh, or to supposedly smell uh, like cigars, which of course are uh, two things I love, great fountain pens uh, and cigars. So let's open this up. Uh, and we are going uh, to uh, refill this. So I'm going to unscrew this barrel. Right. And then I'm going to fully depress that plunger. So we're going to submerge the entire nib of the pin uh, into the inkwell jar. There we go. You can see that we're getting that brown ink coming up. Right, so you can see the ink's been filled in there. I'm going to screw the barrel of this pen back on. And then you always wanna be careful to close your ink jar uh, because, or your ink well, 
because uh, uh, that will ruin a table for sure. So there we have it. We have this beautiful Holland & Holland uh, Anoto Special Edition pen, uh, number 13. Let's see how uh, this uh, baby writes. So. Beautiful, wow, it's very smooth nib. And tradition. Wow, um, this is incredible. Uh, it doesn't have quite the flex of say a, a vintage fountain pen, uh, but nonetheless uh, has a beautiful a kind of, um, you know, flex to it. I mean, a great kind of tactile feedback. Uh, this is an absolutely incredible pen. Uh, the detail here uh, of that royal scroll is indeed something special. Uh, and the details of this pen uh, are really remarkable. So, uh, great gift. Uh, something that uh, uh, by no means I ever would have expected. Incredibly generous. Uh, and, um, this is gonna be a great addition uh, to my collection of fountain pens. So hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Let me know what you think about this uh, pen in the comment section below. Uh, I'd be interested uh, to know whether or not anyone else watching this uh, has acquired uh, fountain pens that have been produced in collaboration with other brands. I really think it's an interesting idea uh, to, to showcase uh, the uh, rich heritage of other companies. Uh, of course, uh, I'm Kirby Allison, and if you haven't taken an opportunity to visit kirbyallison.com, that's really the best way to support the content that we're filming here on this YouTube channel. Uh, there you'll find the largest collection of luxury garment care and luxury shoe care accessories in the world as well as other great clothing accessories for the well-dressed, uh, like this sovereign grade necktie, pocket square, braces, socks, smoking accoutrement, and really so much more. Of course, I'm Kirby Allison, and I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while exploring the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Thanks for watching.